Hi guys, it's Joseph D here. As promised, the in free speed induction motor here is the video for the motor end shields I was casting last year. Well, this is the actual motor being put together now. Before we run the motor, I'll just show you the spec. Free speed fractional horsepower induction motor taken from a central heating circulating pump. Now the speed one, 1650 RPM. 65 watts, 05 amps. Speed 2, 2200 RPM, 95 watts, 0.9 amps. Speed 3 is 2750 RPM, 130 watts, 1 1.4 amps. This is quite a good little motor and it's got a fair amount of torque. Close up. We have our illuminated on and off switch speed selector speed 1, speed 2 and speed 3 now these castings which I got my finger on came from the castings which we were doing in my other videos which you can see on YouTube and that's the back one now they started off like this they were bored out See, you can see where my runner and riser was, where I've cut them off. They're bored out on the lathe, you can see that in one of my videos if you search my channel. Now, I'll show you this motor going. Here we go. That's on the lowest speed at the moment. Speed 1. If I up the speed, you'll hear the motor changes tone slightly. Ever so slightly. Do it again to free speed free. Slightly faster. And again lower. Lower. Higher. Higher. Lower. Lower. There's a slight pause but when you move this selector from one speed to another because while the connections inside make connections. See if I put it in between. See, see it stops because then they're, they're not connected. But the moment I turn it a little bit more, it engages. Typical rotary switch. Middle speed. Low speed. Fair bit of torque. You can stop it if you really press hard. Yeah, it's stopped. But this is only running a 3 UF capacitor. If I put a 5 UF capacitor in this, it'll be harder to stop this. Let's put it on to the next speed. Let's try that again. Now it's harder to stop. Doesn't want to stop. Ah, you get a burn off it, I'll tell you. And we put it on the highest speed. Absolutely no chance. Ah, that doesn't have to give you a friction burn. But you get the idea. I hope you're watching this, Mayford boy. Sorry for the long delay in showing you this video. It's finally here now. Was just waiting for a memory stick to arrive in the post. But it's pretty cool. Shows you the sort of things you can make with metal casting. This box was made using metal casting too. This whole top part and bottom piece was cast using just a block of wood to get the shape. And I used the sand core for the inside to get the hollow area where I put all the control gear. Which is all wired up and is 100% safe, earthed. I hope to do more fun projects like this and yet another year, a new year, 2016 and more projects on the way. Next project will be a very deep slim melting furnace. Stay tuned to my channel to see this one once I've built it and it's up and running. Thanks guys for taking the time and trouble to check out my videos. Hope you had fun. Take care of yourself and have a great day. Bye.